in the area. Turning our attention to the weather, we all want to know what kind of weather we have in store this holiday weekend. All kinds of things going on around here. Michael Fish with the Storm Team forecast. And like we said, I'll, we'll let you off the hook because it's a little cool, Fish. I mean, we have had a lot worse than this. Mm -hmm. Seriously, I think we all remember being Wisconsinites where it's like rain the whole sure. weekend. And it's like the like sideways rain. Cold. <laughs> yeah, and like 48 degrees, yeah. 50 degrees. That's about it for the whole thing. Not that cold, but it is going to be cool. Not warm, but it's not going to rain. I mean, not an all weekend rain, that is. There are a couple chances, but look at this. This is how we're kind of going to start it. Look at our morning lows. Records around the state. That's how cold it was. So that's very unseasonably cold. Rhinelander, a record there this morning 27 degrees. Hard freeze. Stevens Point, uh, 28. Mural, 30. Burr. And around here was pretty cold, too. The only 32 degree reading was Burlington. Otherwise, there's Milwaukee at 38. A few folks saw a little bit of patchy frost, but again, it was not a hard freeze. We're going to keep this cool air around, unfortunately, for the weekend. Oh, well, like Vinny said, it's not the worst thing on Earth. 68, that's what our average high should be. Most of us for most of the weekend are not going to make it there. That's unfortunate. 51 yesterday in Milwaukee as far as today. Maybe a few degrees warmer with a little bit more sunshine as you head inland towards Waukesha. Uh, 65 Minneapolis, so middle 60s there, uh, just 50s by the lake. It's going to be chilly, and it is right now. Middle 50s right now, Watertown 56 there, 55 Whitewater. Cool by the lake, 50, that's it, Milwaukee and Sheboygan. We're not going to improve too much on these temperatures, but still, the sun feels nice also without having as much wind as yesterday. It also feels pretty nice. Now, this is kind of how our setup's going to be for the whole weekend. We're going to have a front getting closer and closer, but it still is going to stay mainly to our south and west. And that's where we're going to keep most of the showers and thunderstorms, but still we're going to be just close enough that maybe one or two of these might sneak in through the weekend. But I am not talking about a weekend washout by any means. We'll just uh, have to keep an eye on it. Nothing with severe weather either. Here we are on satellite and radar around here. We're quiet right now. There's the next system way out to the west with that warm front. Again, that gets closer and closer and just kind of hangs up with most of the showers and storms doing one of these. They kind of work their way to the south and east and miss us to the south and west. But we still just barely might get clipped by one or two of those as the weekend goes on. Not a wash. So a cool day today. There we go. Notice this overnight. There's a complex of those showers and thunderstorms, mainly missing us to the south and west. Could just barely clip our area in the morning. Most of your day going to be fine. With this front just close, still can't rule out an isolated shower storm the rest of the weekend, but not an all-weekend rain if we see anything at all. So 57 today in Milwaukee and by the lake, 64 Waukesha and inland. Tonight, dry, increasing clouds. Now, as far as tomorrow, 58. Maybe a stray morning sprinkle or shower. Most of your day fine. It's just on the cool side. And Sunday, possibly a stray shower. Most of the day going to be fine. Temperature 60 in Milwaukee and by the lake 63, Waukesha and inland. And then Monday, another chance of a shower storm. Not an all-day rain. Better chances of rain Tuesday and Wednesday. Oh, great timing. Then we warm it up after the holiday weekend. That's the way it works around here in Wisconsin. I'll be right back.